where we start the enzyme. Oh no, sorry, I haven't shared the screen. Uh, screen share content. Share screen. Share. Okay. So we have here. Um, we're going to see the effect of enzyme concentration, meaning that we increase the concentration of the enzyme, and then we want to see um, enzyme activity, meaning that we want to see the amount of product being released. Okay, so we need to remember the unit definition for this uh, enzyme that so Chris just now. It is the um, the rate of uh, glucose formation, okay, because we're going to measure the glucose, the rate of glucose formation within one minute under standard assay condition. What will be our standard assay condition? Yeah, we are going to discuss here. So for this enzyme, we are going to use sucrose as the substrate, table sugar as the substrate. Okay, so what we prepare here, we prepare the range of uh, enzyme solution from 0 gram per liter up to 0 0.1 gram per liter. Um, yeah, I need to edit a bit this one. Yeah, this is 0, okay? So, from 0, 0 gram per liter to 0 0.1 gram per liter. Okay. So, now, what happened? The substrate, which is sucrose here, we prepared for 25 gram per liter. Okay. So, this 25 gram per liter is the substrate plus the enzyme. The stock solution for enzyme we prepared for 0 0.2 gram per liter. Okay, so we have the enzyme. We wait for the enzyme for 0 0.2 gram per liter. And then we have also the substrate. We prepare the substrate with 25 gram per liter. Okay, the concentration. Okay, from here, we also have buffer here, a standard buffer, where we use here phosphate buffer, 15 millimolar, pH 7. Okay, because we don't know what is the best buffer for, I mean, the best pH um, for this enzyme yet. So we just make it in general. Generally, people will use this potassium phosphate or sodium phosphate buffer. For our case, we have used potassium phosphate, okay? Okay, so for now, what happened, we have also tubes here. We have prepared tubes, test tube, labeled with A until I. Okay, we prepared the tube from A until I. Okay, so from each of the tube, I mean, this one tube, B tube, C tube, until tube, I. Okay, A, A tube, B, oops, C, until I. Okay, so what happened, we're going to put the invertase. Okay, for tube A, we do not put any impetus. We do not put any enzyme. What we put? We put only 3 ml of the buffer. But what, what else do we put? We put this. Um, 3 ml of the sucrose. Okay. Also this one I need to edit a little bit. Um, this is 0. And then this one is going to be 3 mil. Okay. I'm going to continue this annotation. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have the A tube. We put 3 mil of buffer and 3 mil of the substrate. 
as we increase the, I mean, the, the tube start until H, the volume of the invertase is also increasing. We increase the volume of invertase. We put 0 0.1 mil, 0 0.5 mil, 1 mil, 1.5 mil, 2 mil, 2.5, and 3 mil. This A until H, we use the invertase, the active invertase from the stock that we have prepared. Okay, but remember whatever happened, the total volume should be 3 mil, just like this one. Okay, so if we have put 0 0.1 mil of invertase, that means the phosphate buffer is 2.9. If we have used 0 0.5, the phosphate buffer will be 2.5. Okay, so 1 mil, 2 mil buffer. If we have 3 mil of invertase, that means no buffer because we want to make it the total volume 3 mil. Okay, except for tube I. Okay, this is for the control. For the control, okay, here we use 3 mil. But before we use this 3 mil, we need to kill the enzyme first. Okay, we took out 3 mil and then after that, incubate the enzyme at higher temperature, which is 100 degree. Because we want to make sure the enzyme die at 100 degree. We incubated for, okay, 20 minutes. Okay, before we use for the experiment. Okay, before using it, we need to kill the enzyme by incubating for 20 minutes at 100 degree. Okay, hardly to see any enzyme, a normal enzyme can survive in this 100 degree for 20 minutes. Okay, we want to have this as the control. Okay, so what happened? All of them, starting from the beginning until the last tube, they are all should be similar, where we put three mil of the substrate, three mil of the sucrose. Okay, what you need to do to fill up the form, the table here, you need to, to calculate what is the final concentration for the invertase based on the volume that you have taken from here. Okay, this is the volume. And then this is the cost initial concentration. And then you put it in the final volume, I mean, with the buffer, 3 mil. And you also have the volume for the substrate. So for this reaction, the total volume will be what is the total volume for the reaction? You can type here what is the total volume for the reaction? Guys, type in the chat room what is the total volume of the reaction now? Okay. Okay. So, okay, I think you got it right. The total volume is 6 because you have, for example, this one, 0 plus 3 mil plus 3 mil and then the volume here will be um, 6. I mean, I mean, the volume is equal to 6 mil. Okay, so you have the volume of 6 mil. Now you can calculate what is the final concentration of the invertase in 6 mil. Okay, final invertase concentration based on this stock in 6 mil. Okay. You need to fill up this table. Okay. So, yeah, I hope that you guys can prepare um, I would say this one you need to prepare yourself. 
this is individual experiment since none of you are doing experiment so i hope you can submit the result based on your observation um to your putra plus i will create an account where you can submit individually for this one okay so now what's next um once you have mixed up everything what happened you need to incubate okay incubate at 50 degree yeah we need to submit this table okay together with the um, absorbent where which i will share with you later okay you can see the pattern so at least you have got a result for absorbent and then a final impetus concentration and then plus the graph later on i will i will show you by the end of this experiment okay so now once you have put everything inside you need to incubate the whole thing in the water bath at 55 degree once you have put in the water bath uh, 55 degree you need to incubate only five minutes we want to check the activity within five minutes if you remember your lapis essay you have done this for 30 minutes right so for this one we need only five minutes okay so do not put up to 30 minutes only re perform the reaction for five minutes okay so you need to make it really um um i mean accurate as you can meaning that the minute you put it inside the water bath you start the timer okay we have five minutes you take it out okay so by the end of this five minutes you need to put one mil of the nsa okay at one mil of the nsa reagent Okay, and then after that, yeah, put one mil of the NSA from tube A until I. Okay, A until I, you put one mil of the, one mil DNSA. You need to put one mil of the NSA in each tube. Okay, after that, you need to vortex for five seconds, just to make sure the NSA and the uh, reaction here they are all mixed up well mixed okay after adding one mil of dnsa you are going to put you're going to incubate the test tube in 100 mil 100 degree water bath for 10 minutes okay after adding dnsa incubate the whole tubes i mean all the things in 100 mil 100 degree water bath for 10 minutes this is where you will develop a characteristic with the red brown color okay so i managed to um upload a bit just now um yeah so if you can see this video where we level from a until we label this A until um, I, okay? And then we are adding, now we are taking up one minute of sample for the next step. Okay. But at least you have got, you know, this is for the final step. Okay. Um, oops. Mm, maybe this one. Download now. I'm wait for it. Okay. This one is almost the final step. Yeah. No, we don't want this one. So, um, yeah, what happened? 
you have added this and then put it in the water bath okay um i still cannot find the water bath boiling water bath basically i will share with you all the video later on okay so um after adding i mean after completing 10 minute incubation in the water bath this is where you're going to add six ml of dh2o you're going to add six ml of water to the red brown tube okay red brown color tubes i mean the all a until r you need to add six ml of water and then what text for 10 seconds to make sure the water and then the the directions are mixed well so mix well again and then finally um the absorbent um is taken at uh 540 nanometer maybe not meaning that after it is cooling down you need to take the absorbent and measure at 500 40 nanometer for this experiment you need to blend with one mil dh2 okay blend with water okay so what happened um next it will be okay still slow uploading um, you will have I think I have downloaded. Mm. I will upload step by step. Okay, you can see here. Let uh, me pause this. Okay, we have here till A until I. You can see the color, they are different in terms of the color, right? Um, A, B, C until I. As we increase, um, okay, so as we increase the enzyme amount okay enzyme concentration has increased you can see the um, formation of the red brain color is also increasing okay so um let me let me check for a while Okay, sorry, someone's calling. Okay, so we have here A until I. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, so as we increase the enzyme concentration, the color is also increasing. This is without having water yet. Okay, and then after that, you can see clearly, I think it's obviously uh, when you look at this uh, eye tube, right? Yeah, this one, or oh, this is not so good. Um, yeah, this tube. You know, where you have three mil, I mean, three mil of the enzyme, a lot of enzyme, but there is no brick color formation too much here. Okay, um, can you see it or, or not? It's almost similar to the A tube, right? Where we have no enzyme. Okay, when we have no nothing there, okay, we look at here. This one, and this one. Oh, okay, this one. I'm going to draw this okay, until here. So, so there's no color, too much change. And then when we have, oops, why suddenly it's coming up? 
Let me just. Okay. We will go to that one later. So we can see here when we have nothing, when we have, when inside the A tube, it gives us this color. Okay. Same goes to the when the when the enzyme uh, was killed before the aeration, it gives you this color. So they are almost looks like. Okay. Um, can you see or not? Someone, please let me know. Because I'm I am putting the annotation on the video. Is it working or not? Ah, okay, so thank you. So I'm going to share with you here um, the result, the absorbance after it is done. Okay. Um, look at this carefully. We, we take this and then. Mm -hmm. So we did triplicate, just like you did the line phase essay last time, just to make sure you really have got the consistent uh, result. Okay, so I think this is the enzyme invertase, but we have prepared 0 0.2, the final one, not this one. So invertase is being placed in ice because it is an enzyme. So what happened, we set the... Uh, this is what happened. We set the pipette to 100 microlit because we need 0 0.1 mil. So just take this uh, ticks and then um, do not take up the enzyme out from the ice. Just pipette the enzyme. Remember for this experiment, we have put the buffer and substrate earlier. So that the minute we put the enzyme, it is ready for the incubation. Okay. So we put another 100 microlit for the second tube. Okay. And then remember, uh, the tips that we use to pipette the enzyme is not touching the, um, the solution inside here. We just pipette the, the enzyme so that we can use the same tips. Or the or throughout the experiment. Now we move for the second one, which is 500 microlit. So we adjust this pipette to 500 microlit. See, um, we do not change the tips yet because we want to pipette the same thing. Okay, 500 microlit. Okay, pipette here, um, 500 microlit. And then put it into C tubes. Okay, this is C1 because reading number one. Okay, we're done with this. Uh, no, uh, in the video, uh, it is the an earlier experiment. I tried with 0 0.04 gram, but it's not working. So for your experiment, um, we use 0 0.2 gram. Okay, we, we, I told you earlier, we, we, we changed this. We are not using, um, we are not using zero point four. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah. We are not using zero point four. We replace this. Okay, we replace this with zero point two gram per liter. Okay, we do not use this one. So yeah. We didn't repeat the experiment, or, I mean, taking the video, but we have the result that brick color, about what brown brick, color, red color just now, red brown color just now, based on the 0 0.2. This is too low. That's why we, we cancel this result. So we use the result from here. Okay. Um, so now, um, um, yeah, um, this is. From here, after performing all the experiment, then we can get this. Okay, based on the zero point two, then we get this variation of the 
uh, red brick color, red brown color. Okay, otherwise, it just like this color all the time. That's why we, we repeat this experiment. Okay, so done with this. Um, hopefully, I've got the data for the for that one. And then you will... Uh, Uh, wait for a while. I will share with you the the data. Um, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think it's in the picture. No, it's supposed to be in better picture. Yeah, I will share with you in Discord. Hopefully it is sent. Um, how many minutes left for this part? Yeah, so... I'm going to share with you the screen for the this part. Okay, this one. So this is the um, result from the brick color. Okay, the yeah, this after adding water. This one we haven't put the water, but this is the final reading that we got. Okay, if you can see this clearly, this is tube A until tube I. And then um, you can see the, the absorbance. This is for replicate number one, replicate number two, replicate number three. Based on this, I think you can take all, but yeah, it is not too much. I mean, not too obviously different, but it's still okay. You know, it's just like if you add this, um, even though this is not so much different, but still okay. Okay. Um, so we can see here um, as we increase uh, the enzyme concentration, the absorbent is also increasing. Okay. Except for this, I do 0.078. This is for the dead enzyme. Okay. So this is what I told you earlier where we have tried. In the video, you have seen that we labeled with 0 0.4. So yeah, because 0 0.4, the highest reading is only 0 0.136. So the uh, yellow color... It is the, the brick color, I mean the red brown color is not obviously can be observed. Okay, so when we increase to 0 0.12, uh, it's just like this. But when we put 0 0.2 gram per liter, we can see yeah, this 0 0.07. So that means uh, we need to change to 0 0.2 gram per liter. Okay, so now you can have this table and then uh, as your raw data and then after that what you need to report you need to do you need to plot the graph okay for this case um um i will share with you the standard okay so that you can get the activity for the graph i mean for this absorbent Okay, I, I'm going to give you the y equal to mx plus c equation for the DNSA, for the DNSA assay. So that later, the absorbance from here, you can take the average and as well as standard division, if you can do it in Excel. And then after that, you will get the um, 
the X value later on, the micromole of the um, glucose formation. Okay, micromole of the glucose formation. Because I told you earlier, the 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 unit definition for this enzyme is the rate for the um, um, glucose formation in one minute. Okay, you can calculate because we have no we have, we, we know that the the reaction is taken time about five minutes and then ten minutes for the termination. Okay, so later you can see the the pattern of the graph will be like this. As we increase the enzyme concentration, the activity is also increasing. And then after that, when it is like G2H, something like that, we can see that um, the, 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 the difference is not so much, right? Uh, yeah, it, it starts to be like um, plateau a little bit. Okay, then you can discuss what is the limiting factor. Yeah, this one will be activity but for this case if you are using this absorbent this one will be 540 nanometer and then this one will be micromole of the glucose yeah so yeah g and h they are almost similar because we are almost like okay nothing we change too much even though we have increased so what is the limiting factor for this experiment? You can also discuss in your result and discussion. Okay, any, any question for this experiment? This one you need to report individually because none of you has done any experiments. I'm going to, sh I just share with you the video and then yeah, take whatever observation that you think was to be in your report, then it should be okay. At this moment, the thing that I want is only the, um, I mean, the invitation table for this, yeah, as well as this one. You need to take the average. And then I want to see the graph, how is it looks like. Okay. Okay, just one page. One for this. And then at the bottom of the page, you have this graph. And then a little bit of uh, result and discussion. Just one page for the whole thing. It won't be too much. Okay. Okay. So, any any question? I think that's all for, for today's. Um, experiment or sharing session at least we have got something before we proceed with the next experiment yeah i need to see yeah even even this table looks well we can use this one too okay um, any more question doctor should we maintain yeah we don't need to no, we don't have to. Yeah, the, the control the eye. It shouldn't be in the in the in the graph at all, but it can be in the uh, table for the eye. Okay, we don't have to subtract from the control. It's just yeah, A to I immediately. For I, I do not have replicate because I have we prepared only one. So yeah, that's it. Um, can we get it by next week before the next lecture? Because we will proceed based on that result, we can proceed for the other experiment. Okay, we want to proceed with the um, um, substrate concentration. We want to proceed with the enzyme specificity. And then we want to proceed with the effect of pH. There are a couple of experiments here. And then later, we can always go back to the paper that we have discussed last time, I mean last week. So that it makes sense to see, to read other people's report when you have seen your own experiment. Okay, they did it before Wednesday or Thursday. And so far, we, need, we can make it on Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday sounds okay, except for, yeah, yeah, it will be like 
seven days, I um, mean, at least six days for you, right? Okay, so we will do the effect of temperature, how it's going to be, and then the enzyme inhibition. So you can have a look of this um, thing. I owe you the, the, the standard now. I will share with you later on. Just remind me about the y equal to mx plus me. I will share with you um, by today, hopefully. Okay, so any more questions? Do you need to show the calculation? No need. You don't have to show the calculation. That's okay. Um, yeah, because you need to, to calculate so that you can get the, um, yeah, you need to calculate by yourself to get the final concentration of this. Even, um, yeah, uh, you can make it creative. Once I give you the standard y equal to mx plus c, you can add one more um, table here. Um, I mean, a row here to put like uh, activity in unit put ml, right? So you have the absorbent, you can get the activity for this. Absorbent, you can get the activity for this. So you can add one more column here just to show that okay, this is unit per mil. If you have got this absorbent, then this is the unit per mil, then it will be okay. And then it is nice also to have um, relative activity if we can. Relative activity, activity where it is expressed in percentage. So, yeah, but it is. Um, not so important at this moment, but you can add just for the, for the sake of practice, practicing because you want to do it for for other experiments later on. Common Z, common Z, yeah, for this relative activity. Okay. Any more questions? Mm, yeah, you can turn on your mic, microphone. Um, if you have anything or else we are okay. Or you can even type. I will prepare the platform for you to submit. Um, in the Putra Blast. Okay. So you can repeat or see this video over and over again. Um, are we recording this? Yeah, yeah I think it's easy to it. Okay. Yeah. So that you can just um, get a clear idea what, what is it, what, what needs to be put inside the table and everything. Okay, so I will please prepare, prepare the platform for you to submit. Okay, so that um, because this is the easiest one, so that you know what what is going on. Okay, so we still have twenty three people who are missing in this experiment. Yeah, we're done. Um, group one, group two. Um, yeah, as usual, uh, we take group picture. Uh, who's going to capture the picture? Turn on your camera if possible for a while. Um, yeah. Ask something. Okay, Izati, what do you want to ask? Doctor, mm -hmm. uh, on for the final exam date, is uh -huh. there any possibility to change the date when is the date now okay what's the date give him the date now is on 29th july Alamak. okay meeting habis 5 minutes <laughs> 29th july but we have two papers on the same day 
So we're wondering yeah. if we could suggest on the next week. Okay, I will check first because the following week, week like uh, on thirty first, will be um eight, right? Yeah, eight. Thirty first of July. Okay, I will, I will ask the the I mean the TDA office if they are okay. Then we can just change the date. Even for me, I don't know. I'm I'm ready or not to prepare the exam questions. That's problem. Okay. okay. Thank so you. Yeah. can you capture the picture now? Yep. Um, I'll make sure my scarf looks nice. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. One, two. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, then. Okay, next. They're not opening their camera, I guess. <laughs> Never mind, as long as their name's there. Okay, kejap, kejap. <laughs> hi Priya, hi Arbana, hi Fatin, Iman, Irfan, Vishantini, Umaira, Tengku Daniel, Syed Hanif, with Yashri, whoever turn on the camera, I can say hi. <laughs> whoever not turning on the camera, okay, goodbye. Alamak, jam, jam. Can I just snap it? <laughs> I just just snap it. Okay, okay. Hi, Ikmal. Finally, you turn on the camera. Hey, Umara. All right, last, last, then. last one. One, two, three. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. See you guys. Uh, don't forget to sign in your attendance. Okay. Bye. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. Okay, bye. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank you.